okay so before we got a preview of this year's ios 16 and watch os 9 did you know that all the way back in may 2022 apple had actually told us about this apple watch mirroring feature that was soon to be coming to the apple watch and to the iphone which would completely change the way you use your apple watch it works smooth and is amazing and in this video i'm going to be telling you all there is to know about this new apple watch mirroring feature my name is ben and this is half man half tech okay so first things first what is this new apple watch mirroring feature that we are talking about well this is an accessibility feature that comes to the apple watch thanks to watch os 9 and ios 16 and it allows you to be able to take the screen the small screen of your apple watch and mirror it or broadcast it onto your larger iphone display and be able to use and control it right from your iphone now there's a lot of speculation or talk as to why one would actually need such a feature since you know they are able to use the iphone why just not use your iphone and disregard this feature the reason why this feature is needed is because thanks to advances when it comes to apple watch and watch OS software we got some exclusive so softwares that are only available to the apple watch for example the mindfulness app good luck finding the mindfulness app on your iphone also we have amazing health applications and softwares like blood oxygen sensors and bo2 max good luck finding this app also on your app iphone we have amazing apps also such as this one the heart rate app that's not available on the iphone and on the I apple iphone store you will not be able to get this so these are all exclusive to the apple watch and if you struggle to use these on a smaller screen like the apple watch or sometimes you have difficulties trying to read or pinpoint some of the metrics or sometimes interacting with your apple watch because of the smaller displays and limited screen size then this feature is one that's going to help you out now there are requirements that you need to meet obviously like any other feature that comes out especially when it comes to these new features in order for you to be able to use this new screen mirroring apple watch feature now the first and obvious requirements for you to be able to use this you need to have an apple watch that supports watch os 9 now the watch os 9 supported devices are the apple watch series 4 or newer the series 3 has been dropped from watch os 9 support and you need an iphone that can obviously learn the rayless ios software so at this time you need an iphone 8 or newer in order to update to ios 16 so once you've basically uh, got one of these supported devices and you know that your watch can support watch os 9 and I your iphone is updated to ios 16 for this apple watch mirroring feature to show up on your iphone in your accessibility settings you also need to make sure that your series that's updated to watch os 9 is an apple watch series 6 or newer that is a bummer and the most unfortunate part about this feature that it's at the time i'm recording this video only supported on the apple watch series 6 and series 7 those are like the ones that i've seen be able to use and test this new feature but like apple you sometimes usually does these are in testing mode or in beta mode so by the time these come out to the general public when this watch os 9 software is released to the general public or to everyone maybe more apple watch series would have been added to this hopefully we do see that happen and it becomes a reality so let's talk about how you can enable and use this feature and see it in motion so go into your iphone settings and then go to where it says accessibility and go to where it says apple watch mirroring if you click there you notice that there's a toggle that we can turn on so if we turn on the toggle you notice there's a black screen that comes and it's connecting and it says apple watch mirroring has been enabled basically so as you can see my apple watch this small screen has been like 
brought over onto my iphone and it looks so big that i cannot miss and i can even see some of the apps in the corners like you can see that that app starts with a b but on the apple watch so hard to tell right and you can basically see that this is an app that has like a play button you can see it here that it's so hard to tell now as you can see here if i uh, use my iphone or tap on my iphone rather you can see that it's responsive all the motions that i do are basically working you can see if i scroll to the left it does if i scroll to the right it does if i do this it does and basically it's working as it's supposed to some of the features that this has you know that on your apple watch you have the actual physical crown and you have the side button so you can also interact with those on your iphone right from your iphone screen here so the way you interact with your crown you just have to tap a little bit towards the edge of your crown there and then if you tap there you notice it's responded if you tap the crown again you notice it takes me to my app menu and that's basically the same as what pressing this crown would do on my apple watch so you can see the latency is there and as you know this beta software is polished through watch os 9 it's going to work more smoother and better as time goes on and then also if i was to press the crown here and if i wanted to scroll the crown because you can see here i can scroll the crown here i can zoom in i can zoom out so the same action applies here you can see here if i was to zoom in or zoom out like this it's not as smooth as the physical crown as you can see here i can actually be able to zoom in in or out but on the crown on the iphone here you can see that you do have the same action but it's not as smooth right so let's actually see this in motion and go into like one application like the settings app and we'll go into the settings this is basically showing you about this apple watch but if we just go into the settings and scroll using our iphone you can see that it scrolls page by page right but on the apple watch you can actually scroll like every inch of it right so that's a bummer and the only downside to this but it's good to see that you know on the iphone you can actually use the physical crown you can tap it you can scroll using the physical crown and if you want to go back just tap the physical cr the crown on your apple watch there and then you'll be able to see that if you want to broadcast some of the new features that are in this application like for example uh if you want to take your uh, bo2 max or blood oxygen sensor and you want to see it on a bigger screen then you can actually see this and if you want to airplay mirroring you can also do that but you can see that basically i'm seeing these features on a bigger screen and i can interact with my watch on a larger screen now it was unsuccessful maybe because my watch risk is not that that firm and if i go to another app just to show you that this works for example we we'll take an ecg here so let me just hold here and then you will see that this also works here so you can see that i can basically display the same information using my uh, iphone on a bigger screen and also if i have to like physically hold the physical button for ecg to work on this ecg app obviously i need to press the actual ecg app on the apple watch if i was to hold it here on the iphone you can see that that does not work since the this has no sensor here this is just an interactive user interface but if you need to hold the physical button for a certain feature then you will need to do that on your apple watch but you still be able to see the information on your iphone so that is also something that i thought i should let you know obviously these are not all the buttons that the apple watch has you can see here that we do have the side button here and if we press the side button you can see that it also works you can also close some of these applications here you can see how basically the side button works as it does here on the iphone as it would on the apple watch so this is a good new feature that's available to all those that have an apple watch series 6 or newer and have updated their devices so 
the way i want to show you here if i was to close this or if you want to get rid of this apple watch mirroring you just have to press the x here so if we cancel it you can see that for you to get to it you basically have to go into your settings go go down to where it says accessibility and go where it says apple watch mirroring and turn it on so it's quite a process but i want to just show you how you can sort of access it quite quick so if you go into your apple watch se uh, settings and then just search for accessibility shortcuts so accessibility shortcuts is right there and you can select apple watch mirroring right there from the top menu and once it's selected you'll be able to access this apple watch mirroring feature from your accessibility shortcut on the control pane if you just pull it down like this you can see i have the accessibility shortcut here if i click on it you can see that i have apple watch mirroring for some reason since maybe this is in beta or in testing it doesn't seem to be working right away sometime does work it seems to be a hit and miss but i'm sure as time goes on and if this does become a popular feature or a popular way people are interacting with their apple watch devices then apple is going to try and make this a better and more friendly user experience for most of us so basically this is it and this is how it works the new apple watch mirroring feature you can see you can change even your watch faces you can see the new watch faces that came with watch os 9 and so on so here on the channel at half man half tech i do cover these quite expansively when it comes to some of the new features and new changes that you can see on your devices as we get uh, updates and if that's something that interests you then definitely do subscribe and uh, you keep up to date with all there is to know now watch os 9 is going to be coming most probably next month in the month of september when we get the uh, all software released to the general public so if you're looking forward to using these features officially and not being on the beta then look forward to this update at that time now other than that that's about it for me guys when it comes to this new feature if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace